Hey, fearless followers, uh, here we are, Saturday, your word of the day, and we're looking at, at Philippians again, and Paul writes to the church in Philippi and tells them that though he is in prison, though he is in chains, he says that, I want you to know that the gospel of our Lord has been advanced forward because of my situation, and more so, that those who are brothers and sisters in the Lord, who are also in captivity for doing the work of advancing God's kingdom, are encouraged and inspired and even bolstered now in their attempts to share the gospel because of what's happened to Paul. And I think about that today. I think about that in the midst of our situation in the coronavirus, although, like, let's just be clear— Paul being in prison was significantly more difficult than, um, than what we're facing right now here at home. And yet, all the same, in every situation, in every encounter that we have, the gospel of God and the kingdom of God will move forward. And one of the things that Paul's talking about here is that no matter what happens in this life, God has a plan and a purpose for his mission. God has a plan and a purpose for his gospel. And it will move forward as God wants. And so even in the midst of the coronavirus, um, even in the midst of maybe your personal frustrations with what's going on in Michigan right now, what's going on uh, with our stay in place, and maybe you're on one side of the conversation or you're on the other side of the conversation, I want you to know um, that today, the gospel of God can move forward in and through your situation if you make yourself available to that. That no matter what happens to us, we have the opportunity to advance the gospel of God, the gospel of Jesus, the kingdom of God to those around us in every situation. And so for me today, and I think for us today, maybe ask the question, how am I advancing the kingdom of God in my life today? How am I advancing the kingdom of God in my relationships? How am I showing the love of Jesus to those around me? Uh, God makes it clear that his gospel will move forward and we have the opportunity to participate even in the most frustrating of circumstances. And sometimes, and maybe we'll talk about this in the weeks to come as we unpack Philippians, sometimes our sufferings our personal sacrifices, our own frustrations, the situations that we like the very least, yield the most fruit in advancing the gospel of Jesus forward. That's the word of the day. Grace and peace.